In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send your product catalog on WhatsApp number of your customers automatically. Now for sending these WhatsApp messages, I'm going to use this interact application, which is an official API of WhatsApp. And I'm collecting my customers data into Google Sheets. But let's say you are collecting your customers data into Airtable, into MS Excel or via some kind of form submission like Google Forms or Jot form. In that case also, after the form submission also you can automatically send your product catalog to the form submitter okay so let's start this process all right so in order to automate this process firstly i'll have to build an integration into this spreadsheet and into this interact application and i am going to do that with the pabli connect it is an amazing integration and automation software and i am already existing user of pabli connect so here you can see i am already logged in and you can also create your free account in just two minutes from this sign up free button and you will also get free task in the free account now after reaching out to the dashboard the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i am providing the name something like when user data is added in sheet automatically send catalog on whatsapp now click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you okay so these are trigger and action okay so trigger means when this happens an action means do this when this happens automatically do this okay understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay according to our use case whenever my customers data is added into google sheets application okay so that is why i'm selecting google sheets in this trigger application then automatically send a whatsapp message basically share my product catalog on whatsapp via interact application so that is why i am selecting this interact into the action okay so this is how every time you are going to automate anything you'll have to select your applications in which you are building an automation okay and now i am going to connect these two application one by one with the public connect but before that firstly you'll have to select the trigger event okay so i am going to select this new or updated spreadsheet row okay because i want that whenever any new data is added or any uh, data is updated into the google sheets this automation should trigger okay so how i am going to build this integration in google sheets and public connect firstly you will have to copy this webhook url okay and you can also read the instructions that how you can connect to google sheets and pabli connect okay i am repeating this again read this instructions carefully okay firstly copy this webhook url go to the spreadsheet in which you are planning to collect all your customers data then go to the extension go to add-on click on get add-ons and here you'll have to search for the pabli connect webhooks add-on first Alright, so I'm searching for this Pabli Connect to Webhooks and here you can see it is already installed in my account. But if you are building this connection for the first time, you'll have to first install this add-on. And after the installation, you'll have to open this webhook add-on from here. Okay, then click on initial setup and here exactly we are going to paste the same webhook URL which we have received via Pabli Connect. Okay, so come back here. Okay, I can close this particular landing page. Okay. Now I'm going to paste the same webhook URL here. Now it is asking for the trigger column, okay? So you'll have to read the instructions. The trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of the, that row data will be sent to the webhook URL, okay? So basically it is asking to specify a column name on the uh, filling of which this automation should trigger, okay? In my case, I want that whenever I'm adding new data into a new row, okay? Whenever that data is filled up to C column this automation should trigger this automation should send the data to Pabli Connect so that is why I will be defining the trigger column as a C okay now I already have the data into first row so that is why I am clicking on this send test button and then 
you will see it will send the data to google sheets okay to public connect i'm sorry for that test data sent successfully and here it is showing that the name of the person the email address and the phone number has been sent now let me tell you this is just a dummy number but don't worry i'll replace this number with the genuine one when i am going to send the real whatsapp message okay i'll show you don't worry about that i'll show you in this video that how you can send the real whatsapp messages okay now simply click on uh, submit and the setup will be configured successfully okay and click on close then come back to public connect and you will see the same google sheets data will be received as a response into our public connect dashboard okay so let me show you the details one by one here we have the same whatsapp number here we have the same trigger column the spreadsheet name let me show you other important details that is the email address and the name of the customer okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our spreadsheet and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now what will happen since this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data so what will happen every time i am going to add a new data here that data will automatically be fetched via public connect but for that you'll have to enable one very important settings okay so click on this extension public connect webbox once again and then click on this send on event option okay so basically you'll have to enable the send on event option okay after enabling that option only the data will get sent automatically okay so this is one uh, important thing and the second important thing is whenever you are working with the google sheets make sure that either you work into the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in at the same time into a single time okay i am repeating this again either work into the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in okay now come back to the public connect dashboard okay and the first step of our automation is done now i am going to send my product catalog to this person on this particular whatsapp number automatically via interact okay so first i will show you which product catalog i am actually planning to share okay so here you can see i have already created a nice pdf of my product catalog and i would like to share this particular pdf with my customers on their whatsapp number Alright, so this is my catalog, which is really amazing. Okay, for now I am going to close this catalog, and then I'll be connecting this interact with the public connect. Okay, so firstly select the action event as send WhatsApp message template. Then simply click on connect because as we have connected Google Sheets and public connect, now we are going to connect this interact with the public connect. Now for the connection, it will ask you the secret key. Okay, so firstly you'll have to read these instructions, and then you'll have to click on. On this hyperlink okay i am already logged in into this interact application here you can see so it is taking me directly to this particular setting okay from where i am going to copy that token all right so this is the token which i am going to copy in front of you come back here paste the same click on save and this is how interact and public connect will be connected immediately okay now before we fill this particular information one by one firstly i am going to take you to this interact dashboard all right so this is the dashboard of interact you can read this i n t e r a k t interact okay you can reach here create your free account and after login you will have to come to this whatsapp template section now what are these whatsapp templates here also i have selected this send whatsapp template message okay so whenever you are sending the whatsapp messages to your customers to your clients using whatsapp official api the very first thing you'll have to do is to create a whatsapp message template yes then only you will be able to send the whatsapp messages you will be able to initiate the conversation with your customers after sending this whatsapp message template only okay basically we cannot send the messages directly you'll have to create a message template okay in this case i will show you that which particular message template i have created for sending the product catalog okay let me directly search for my template here you can see the name of the template is send product catalog okay and once your template will be created you'll have to submit it for the approval okay and then whatsapp team the facebook team is going to review your template if they will find it suitable 
then only they are going to approve your message template okay and once your template is approved then only you'll be able to send the message here you can see in the status lot of templates are approved lot of templates are even pending and rejected okay here you can see the whatever the templates marked with the green color are actually actually the approved one and whatever the templates marked with the red color are the rejected one and the templates marked with the orange color are the pending one okay so these are the various templates which i have created inside my interact application okay let me again come back to this interact application okay so this is some other tab okay so this is the exact tab and we were about to check our catalog basically the template okay let me show you this template once again where is that template all right so this is my message template that is send product catalog okay here i have selected english as the language and in this header it is actually an optional thing but i have included document into my header because i would like to attach my product brochure basically the product catalog into the header section only and from here exactly from this body section you can compose your whatsapp message whatever the message you would like to send to your customers and in this particular message whatever the value you want to keep on changing automatically you can keep those values in the form of variable and you can add these variables from this particular section okay currently those options are not visible because this template is the approved template and we are into the view mode not into the editing mode okay otherwise you will find a button of adding the templates in fact you'll also find various option of formatting also okay so this is the message and you just need to create a single message only and the same message will get sent to all the people only these values will be replaced okay basically the name of the person will be changed automatically okay so this is how this automation is going to take place and again footer and buttons are optional and in this particular template I have not added any footer any button okay so now I am going to copy the code of this particular template and let me tell you one more very important thing after the template creation when you are going to submit this template for the approval before that you will also have to provide the sample now what are the samples basically you are defining the system that what values will appear in in the place of these variables it is just simple as simple as that okay so i have copied the code come back to public connect and here you will find the option of the template code okay so here exactly i am going to paste the code firstly now we are going to move from the top okay here you can see it is asking to provide the country code then phone number then again full phone number okay now why we have two phone number fields okay so firstly i will show you a note that is it is mandatory to give a value for either a full phone number or for both phone number and the country code so basically if you have your number along with the country code in that case you will have to provide this number in this full phone number field and just in case if you do not have your number with the country code in that case you'll have to provide the number here and the country code separately okay so these are the instructions okay you can also read this instruction in case you have any confusion okay so i am going to provide the number into this particular field okay and don't worry i don't even need to manually copy the customer's phone number and paste it here i I am going to map this number and mapping is very simple inside Pabli Connect. Simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down and here exactly we can select our number okay and as for the instruction it also need that plus sign okay so let me add this sign manually okay now you must be thinking that what is this mapping so let me explain you whatever the details you are going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time on whatever the values you will provide manually that value will remain same okay so in this case what will happen every time I'm going to add the data of new customer that new customers data will replace this existing number okay so this is how this automation is going to take place and that is why mapping really plays a major role inside this automation and don't worry I'll replace this dummy number with my genuine whatsapp number now it is asking to select the 
language code well for english the language code is en so let me copy the same and paste the same here asking for the header value okay so remember we have also kept a header inside our message and in this header i want that my brochure should be attached okay so remember i have shown you my uh, catalog so i'm going to copy the link of this catalog and here exactly i'm going to paste this clothing brochure basically the pdf catalog of my products okay so as i have told you whatever the details you are going to provide manually these details will remain same okay so what will happen to every customers of mine the same link of product catalog will get sent automatically okay moving further it is asking for the body variable values well this is the most interesting part because here we are going to provide the values to our variable okay so currently as just have one and two okay two variables only so i'll have to provide the value of two variables only okay in this example also here you can see uh, two variables are given and this is how we'll have to provide the value okay and i'm not going to provide the name of the customer manually i am going to map it okay so where is the name of the customer let me map it all right the test customer is the name of the person now for the second variable firstly you'll have to put a comma and then you'll have to provide the value for the second variable okay in our case we have the second variable as the uh, product catalog okay so here exactly i am going to add the clothing word okay now why i have kept this particular value in the form of variable because i can use the same message for sending any kind of catalog for sending the product catalog for sending the business pro services catalog for sending the clothing catalog okay so that is why i have kept this particular value in the form form of variable okay so here i will be writing something like clothing okay so what will happen it will be something like the clothing catalog okay our clothing catalog is arrived this is how this message is going to compose come back to public connect and i have not attached any dynamic url and button into my message template so i'll leave these two fields blank and i think i have provided all the data successfully and now finally i'm going to replace this tabby number with my genuine number and and then you will see how the same product catalog will get sent automatically on my number only which i am going to provide here all right so i have provided a number clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to be received here you can see the response is received let me go to my whatsapp web and here you can see the message is also arrived and here the name of the person has been replaced automatically that is test customer okay hello test customer our clothing catalog is arrived check out our new collection in the catalog that is attached with this message for any questions call us on On this particular number thanks fashion we steam okay this is how you can also now automate the process of catalog sending and here i am also downloading this particular pdf in order to check whether it is the same pdf same catalog or not and yes you can see it is the same product catalog okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to add the data of new customer okay so let me also add new customers data something like dummy users the name of the person i will also attach the email i will also add the email address something like demo at the rate pablitudes.com and in place of this number i will add the genuine whatsapp number of mine and let me also delete this existing message from here all right so the chat is deleted let me provide the number all right so i have provided my real whatsapp number and pressed enter and i'm really waiting for that message to be arrived here fingers crossed and here you can see the same message is arrived and this time with this particular name okay and again the clothing brochure basically the pdf the catalog is also attached okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to collect your customers data here into this spreadsheet the messages the catalog will get sent automatically you do not have to do anything apart from creating this automation and you do not have to create this automation again and again if 
if you have created this automation for the first time after that you can simply close pably connect because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually i am repeating this again and again and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach this link into the description box okay so simply click on that link and sign up into the pably connect and then you will be also able to access this particular automation inside your pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video